creeper. Oh man. Hey guys, Greenfee Gaming, and welcome back to another video. All right, so I just kind of got this idea. I was really bored, and I was like, you know what? Let's let's beat the Ender Dragon, but I'm not gonna use any armor or any potions or anything. Okay, so yeah, I'm not gonna use any armor or any potions or like anything that could seriously help me. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put all my valuables in a chest right now so I don't use or I don't lose them. But what I'm basically gonna do is like, yeah, I'm gonna fight the Ender Dragon with beds, um, which is going to be very interesting. I've never tried that before. In fact, when I practiced fighting the Ender Dragon for this survival series, I always thought that I would have like a full set of diamond armor, um, you know, my good sword, but you know what? I just thought I really want to try to, you know, do something different and, you know, not fight the Ender Dragon like, you know, normally. I just really want to see, you know, what I can do. So um, I'm going up right now to shear some sheep because I need to get some beds. But, actually, I kind of want to test my shaders out, so just give me a second. Oh, no, these are way more laggy. Okay, never mind. Yeah, these are better. All right. Um, yeah, that's, that's like a decent frame rate, or at least. Um, but, yeah. So, I guess now it's time to shear all these sheep and make some beds. Okay, uh, heading into the nether. Okay, so, yeah, I actually kind of want to, I want to leave my shaders on in the nether, because it just looks a lot cooler. Okay, um, I just kind of realized we're going to need some more blocks. Um, so, yeah, I can't, I can't use 64 and that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to head back now. So, yeah. All right. Look at me, look at you. Take my revenge. That's what I'm going to do. Now I can get some appropriate fighting gear for this fight. Not overpowered, but, you know, just enough to, yeah. Trying to steal all our stuff again. Your stuff. Yeah, let's take back the world. Uh, okay, guys. Moment of truth. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh boy. Okay. I did not expect this to be this intense. Okay guys, so I made it to the end island, and we are ready to fight the ender dragon, but not really, because I only have a water bucket, some cobblestone, and a bunch of beds. Ooh. Okay. Oh boy. I think this is what they did in the videos, but honestly, I can't really remember, so we're definitely prepared, guys. Oh boy. Okay guys, so this is what you're supposed to do, uh, place a block, boom, yo, I didn't take any damage, oh, we have to take out the towers first, I forgot, okay, we gotta do that now. Okay, I've used this tactic a lot, and it's just water bucketing up, so, here we go. No, oh no, that's, oh no. Yo, 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 I'm actually taking damage now. Holy crap. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. 
Oh god, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Boom, there we go, that was the last tower. Okay. And actually I gotta be closer for this one. Okay. Oh god. Okay. What? And can I do that? Yeah, I sure can. Okay. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay, healing up. Um, he's almost halfway done. That's actually that's actually good. But yeah, it's always good when he's here. You gotta get him with some beds. So let's do that. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Yo 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 yo. Oh my god. Okay, okay, come on, just gotta hit. What? Come on! Oh, yowch! Come on, oh my god. Guys, 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 we can actually beat him! Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, I I don't know what to say. <laughs> we we beat Minecraft. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. <sighs> Ready to jump in. All right, guys. Wow. <laughs> guys, guys. Oh, okay. Wow. Damn. Guy. <laughs> I see the player you mean. Green feet. Yes. Take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they are words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read back in the days when those who did not play called the players, which is the warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it created, and it dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted, and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. Ha, <laughs> the original interface, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt a true world in a fold of the blah and created a blah for blah and the blah. I cannot read that thought. No, it has not yet achieved the highest level. That is, that it must achieve in the long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it? 
that the universe is kind. Sometimes, through the nose, there, through the nose of its thoughts, it hears the universe. Yes, but there are times it is sad. In the long dream, it creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under a black sun, and it takes its sad creation of reality. To cure it of sorrow would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. Sometimes when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them they are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them the importance of the universe. Sometimes when they have not made a true connection in a while, to help them speak the word they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes, you're not a, sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take for truth is merely blah and blah. I wish to tell them that they are blah and the blah. They see so little of reality in their long dream, and yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them from living. Dang, that's deep. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story. But not the truth, no. A story that contains the truth, safely, in a cage of words. Not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again, yes. Use its name. Green feed. Player of games. Good. Take a breath. Now, take another. Feel the air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again. Under gravity. In air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are. Your body touching the universe again at every point. As though you were separate things. As though you were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain. Father, son, mother, moon. Ancestral spirit, animals, spirit, gin ghost, the green man, the gods, demons, angels, polity. Aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks, the world change, the words change, we do not change. We are the universe, we are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now, through your skin and your eyes. And why does the universe touch your skin and throw light on you to see the player know you? And to be known, I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time there was a player. The player was you, Green Fee. Sometimes... It threw itself human, and the thin crust of spinning globe and mo molten rock, the ball of molten rock, circling ball, blazing gas, uh, 330,000 more mass than it. They're, they were so far apart, the light took 8 minutes to cross the gap. There was light and information from a star that could burn your eyes through 150 million kilometers away. Sometimes the player dreamed it was a minor, and the surface of the world was flat, and, it was true. and the sun was a square white in the days before, and it was much to do, and everything did that. Sometimes the player dreamed it was supposed to be story. Sometimes the player dreamed it was other things and other things. And sometimes the player would, sometimes the dreams were disturbing. Sometimes the player would deep. Sometimes the player walked from one dream to another and then woke into a third. <laughs> sometimes the player dreamed to watch words on a screen. Let's go back. The atoms of the player were scattered in grass and the rivers in the air and the ground. A woman gathering the atoms, she drank it and, in, and inhaled, and the woman assembled a player in her body, and the player awoke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body into a long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made from nothing but milk and love. You are the player, the story, the program, and human, made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. The seven billion 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 atoms of the player's body were created long before the game in the heart of the star. So the player, too, is information from the star. And the player moves through a story, which is a force of information planted by a man called Julian. On a flat, infinite world created by a man called Marcus. And existing inside a small, private world created by the player, who inhabits the universe created by shush sometimes the player created a small private world that was soft and warm and simple sometimes hard but cold and complicated sometimes it built a model of the universe in its head flex of energy moving through the empty space called electrons and protons sometimes it called them planets and stars sometimes it believed that the universe was made of energy and made of offs and ons zeros and ones lines of code sometimes it believed the player was a game sometimes it believed the reading words on the screen you are the player reading the words shush Sometimes the player read lines of code on the screen, decode them into words, decode the words into meaning, 
put the meaning into feelings, emotions, theories, ideas, and the player started to believe to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was alive. It was alive. The thousands of deaths. Uh, I don't know how to. Yeah. Okay. You. You. You are alive. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the sunlight that came through the, sh the shuffling leaves of the summer trees. And sometimes the player believed that the universe had spoken through the light and fell in the crisp sky night, in the night sky of the winter, and the flex of it in the corner. And jeez. Okay. The universe suddenly smoked food and filmed the door and above the dream again. And sometimes the player believed that the universe had spoken to through the zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, even through scrolling books on the screen at the end of the dream. You are the universe. And the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. <laughs> and the universe said, everything you need is within you. And the universe said, you are stronger than you know. And the universe said, you are the daylight. And the universe said, you are the night. And the universe said, the darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said, the light you seek is within you. And the universe said, you are not alone. And the universe said, you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said, you are the universe, tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the game was over. And the player woke up from the dream. And the player began a new dream. And the player dreamed again, dreamed better. And the player was the universe and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. Wow. This is peaceful.